Hi, Philip speaking. I make these videos to show you a new uh, ajustor package named HD Engine. HD Engine is in fact uh, a complete, complete uh, Debian short with all the tools like APT and so on to install any application, but integrated with uh, X.org uh, server and the video acceleration used by Azustor. So I test it with this version 10.13.7.R14 for Xorg and to integrate the application used by ID Engine inside Asus Portal, Azustor Portal uh, is the version I use. So in fact this is a motor with any application in the first uh, step, I uh, only use and install two applications. The first is Netflix and the second is Plex Home Theater. So I can just show you using uh, VNC uh, to have a copy on of the screen of the Asus Store uh, how this works. So as you can see here, up. It's integrated inside the uh, Azure Store, so you can see the application exactly as uh, other default application coming from uh, Azure Store delivery. So I can start with Netflix. I don't. Uh, I just play uh, video, but only one because I use VNC, so uh, I have not the <laughs> real. Um, uh, throughput for the video and uh, no sound. Even if I have near of a real screen, so I can have it. Okay, so I can start Netflix. So in fact, it's a, a Chrome HTML5 uh, video screen. So you are under Netflix. You can choose your uh, system. And for example, I just show you a short video okay Tech. just to show you that it works so the video acceleration is uh, used there were no problem and the sound is uh, uh, you can perhaps have a minimum of sound uh, because i am near the screen okay so i stop it Tech. To leave uh, Netflix, you can use uh, F11 to uh, 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 keep the full screen and have uh, uh, the icons on the top, the X icon to leave it, or use Alt F4 as any uh, Windows system to uh, close the windows. Okay, so for Plex Home uh, Theater, it's the same. You have to start it. Plex Home Theater use only the screen, uh, the keyboard, so you need a keyboard. So here I can see that I am connected to an, a Plex server with my music and uh, my movies. The important point is in preference, in setting, to use in advanced setting to use the uh, V5 vertical blank synchronization to enable it during video playback. If you use another one, you can use them, but you have a lot of uh, flicker in the screen and the screen is not stable. So use the video uh, synchronization, the vertical synchronization, but unique only when you use uh, video. Is the only restriction to the uh, normal usage of uh, Plex uh, uh, Home Theater. Okay, so you can see it's integrated as usual in the Ice Portal uh, desktop. So uh, if you, it's relatively easy to uh, add any application, Office, another web browser like Firefox, uh, GIMP, uh, uh, tools to manage your uh, video, and so on and so on. It's uh, generally um, 
uh, desktop application, so you need to have a mouse and a keyboard to use them. But to manage more easily that to have only stop the HD engine or uh, delete, we have also the add some possibility to manage, to have tools to manage and know what happens. The very big difference with the Azure Store uh, product uh, is that we don't use root. We use a specific user to uh, launch the application. So this inter the interesting thing is using this oops, is to have no risk even if you open a new SSH server inside the shroud, you can uh, use this user and uh, keep out all the other data managed by admin or root, so it's really more secure. If you, if you open a new uh, SSH server inside, you have to don't use the same port as a normal uh, SSH server. You can uh, redirect the X11 um, um, interface, so you can use for some application uh, the uh, uh, connected or remote connected uh, X server to manage your application inside the uh, Azure Store. Okay, another uh, interesting thing is to have an ID of the mount. The mount uh, in the shroud are the default mount, but also some uh, shared resources. The shared resources you can uh, man you can manage the resources you can uh, share. It's uh, oops, uh, and with HD Manage, you can add a shared resource or uh, you can uh, remove a shared resource. So at any time, you have a control of what are visible uh, from the sh uh, from the shroud and from the application, and what are keep in Azure Store environment to uh, leave. Uh, why I use some uh, other application that the Chrome, for example, provide by Azure Store? It's a problem of version. If you see, is the Chrome version is 30, uh, 31. But in fact, to use with uh, all the capability with Netflix, you need more library and a new est. So you are inside. So HD Manage can permit you to enter in the shroud. So now I am inside the uh, HD engine and I can use DPKG, APT and all the tools from Debian. And you can see with this we are able to have the latest version of Google Chrome stable. So it's uh, uh, relatively easy to have all you want. All okay. The only constraint is that uh, X11 and video acceleration use a uh, Intel graphic uh, driver that are uh, very specific. Uh, it's a new version, and uh, in some cases you cannot upgrade the uh, library inside the shroud because they are more uh, up to date that the library provided by Azure Store. So I have for this reason hold all the library to the same version that uh, use Azure Store and in some cases you can have to be prudent if you upgrade the XORG and the, X, uh, the graphic driver in the Azure Store because in some uh, case you can have problem by match, not matching the same library. Okay, thank you and uh, hope that you can uh, have fun with these uh, new tools.